Welcome back, guys. Um, so last time uh, we looked at um, bringing the iPhone up and then making it smaller on scroll. So this time, let's go back to Apple and see what we're going to do next. So if we come down here and then we get to here and then this bit starts sliding open. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to start sliding it. So let's um, come back to our text editor. Uh, let's just make this a bit bigger so we can see. Um, so we need to make, so yeah, we need to move this phone, this phone to the left and this phone to the right, or is it the other way around? We'll have a look in a sec, but um, let's come down here and then we're gonna make a new timeline to start with. So I'm gonna say bar, or do we call our first one TL first scroll? So let's say TL second scroll. And then um, we're going to say new timeline max. Uh, and then we want to open that. That's fine. Okay. So I've got here, we've got two containers with our phones in iPhone 1 and iPhone 2. So let's come back over here and then start making our new timeline. So let's grab it, TL second scroll. And then we're gonna say, we wanna go, uh, do we, yeah, we wanna go two. Oh, uh, and then we wanna get the iPhone wrapper here. So iPhone one, let's start with. So let's go iPhone one, um, forgot the dot, didn't I? Okay. And then um, let's, what have we done? We've given it three seconds on these two. So let's give it three seconds again. Um, and then we can go, we want to move it along the X coordinates this time. So let's go uh, X and then say 50%. And I always forget to do that. Um, okay, so let's go and have a look what's happening now. Um, let's go back and then we can see it's moved. Let's refresh and there we go. That's moving, but I think that's going the wrong way, isn't it? Wasn't it the, yeah, the big one goes left. So that's all we have to do then is go minus 50%. And then we can just duplicate this line and then we can grab the iPhone two and then we just move that 50%. So that should go the other way. So hopefully both of them now will be moving uh let's go to our site so that moves and then you can see they're not triggering at the same point so what we can do about that is we can come here go like that and then we go minus equals three and basically what that means is that this line here will move back we've got this three seconds and this three seconds so once this is finished, this line here, after three seconds, it'll play this line, but then we're moving it back here by three seconds. I mean, we can make it one second, if I show you, one second, and then you see it come, it will move a bit earlier. But if we go three seconds, come back, they'll both move at the same time. Okay, um, <clears throat> I've just noticed we've got our text underneath there. So we're gonna wanna move that, so, um, Let's see how do they do it on this site. So we come down here and then it sort of fades in first, doesn't it? Fades in and then it starts moving. So um, let's come down here um, and then well, we're gonna say uh, from this time, aren't we? Because we want it to come from. So I'll show you in a sec. Um, from and then what did we call our text? Uh, where is it? iPhone text two, iPhone, iPhone one text, sorry, iPhone two text. So let's grab this iPhone one text, put that in there. And then um, we want to, we, we want to make it appear. So if we go auto alpha one, which basically means uh, an opacity of one. So um, we're going to say zero, sorry, because we're coming from. So if I try and explain this, so um, our natural state 
is an opacity of one. And we want to say from, if I put a dot there it would help, from a an auto opacity, so an opacity of zero, back to our natural opacity of one. So you should be able to see this now, Vader. No, we can't yet. So what have I done? iPhone one text. Okay. Um, we need to put a time on there, don't we? Because um, it's not a set function or anything. So let's go like that because we want this to move quite quickly. So let's see if that's worked now. Let's refresh. And then we can see that flash in there. So that's good. It means something's happened anyway. So, uh, and then what we can do next is we grab the iPhone 2, iPhone 2 text, like that, and then that should come in as well. And then we want to move them. So we're going to say 2. Oh, actually, let's duplicate these two lines. So duplicate. Oh, let's just duplicate this twice and then we can say two and then two and then we'll grab the iPhone one text um, 0 0.3 seconds okay I think it needs to be more doesn't it let's go for our three seconds that we've been using throughout um, and we've got an auto alpha so we need to move this X and um, let's go minus um, 50 percent let's just do that for now and then same again uh, we can remove that and then go X and then plus 50 percent uh, so 50 percent and let's see what we have got now so let's refresh and then something gone wrong so let's oh there it is there so it's coming out Oh, I know what we need to do, don't we? We need to. So they are working. And they're way too far across. So um, let's try thirty percent, shall we? Thirty percent, thirty percent, and then again, what we need to do is we need to grab this and so that we can move all of these back by those three seconds again. So let's come there, come there, and then. All, all of these, I don't want to do that. So let's go and make sure our commas are in there, tidies. Oh, that's okay. So hopefully now uh, we've got something wrong there. What's going on? Scroll down and then oh, we've got this one going the wrong way. So which one's that? It's pushing. So uh, why would you go the wrong way though? Um, iPhone 10. Oh yeah, because we need to say minus 30, don't we? So I was thinking of this. So yeah, minus 30. Let's try that. There we go. So that's better. So you can see like that, and that's coming out. And that all moves. There we go, guys. So that's our next bit done, I think. And then we just need to make it scroll. So um, I'm going to move this up. Sorry, it's right down there. I just realised that. Let's move this up so you can see it better. Um, so now we come to our scroll magic chisel. So um, we need to create a variable and then we're going to say scene two. So scene two. Um, and then it's a, oh, it's a new, again, it's a new scroll magic and it's a scene. So we're going to go scene. And then we want to go brackets and curlies. And but again, we want to make it so that as we're scrolling down, it doesn't just like we want to tell it where, where to, to trigger again, like we did before. So we want to give it a trigger element. So trigger element. And this time I've got a trigger element here. So once we've scrolled down and we hit this trigger two, that is when our animation is going to start. So let's grab trigger two. So dot trigger 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 two, and then uh, again we want our trigger hook to be zero. I think 
Um, and then again, we need a duration, and let's make that 100%. Okay. Um, and I think, uh, oh, I forgot, we need to set the tween again, don't we, like last time? So, uh, first of all, let's go set um, tween, and then our tween that we want to set now is this timeline. So, we're going to grab TL second scroll and we're going to set it here. Uh, and then what we need to do now, right, is if we go to back to Apple, you can see that it's pinned here and we don't want to be scrolling as we go. So we can, what we will need to do is pin the scene. So we need to pin it at the top here. So as we scroll, the page doesn't lift up and we are fixed on here, which is why we set a pin. So let's go set pin. And then we're going to say trigger two because we're going to set the pin again here. Okay. Um, and then again, let's let's add our indicators. Actually, indicators. Let's spell it right this time. Indicators. Um, and then we mustn't forget to add to and then controller okay so hopefully now fingers crossed we should see something working so let's come up here and refresh and have I done something wrong it looks like it let's just inspect uncaught syntax error 44 44 there I've done it again didn't I do that last time oh wally okay let's now it should work yeah there we go so Let's refresh and then we're coming down that's moving up it's going in and then they open and we're scrolling and you can see here we've got our trigger I don't know if you can see this but it says trigger this is from our add indicators and then we come down here like this so we can see here start to we scroll up scroll up scroll up hit that trigger at the top which is our trigger two and then this scrolls open like this and that's looking beautiful I mean I know it's not perfect but uh, you know, we're just sort of doing this on the fly and uh, quickly. And hopefully, it will teach you a bit of scroll magic and GSAP. But um, I'm going to call it um, quits on this video for this tutorial. And then in the next one, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll do the next scene, which is this part. So we'll go open, open, and then these come open. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.